You are watching a master at work. Friends, I'm freshly back from Formnex in Germany, the premier 3D printing show for industry. Four floors, it was absolutely fantastic. I just want to thank a couple of people, Dice Design for getting me the tickets, and also PCBWay.com, who are the sponsors of this video. PCBWay is PCB prototyping the easy way. You can upload and obtain quotes for your design. They offer a range of services, which includes assembly, CNC cutting, and 3D printing. It's very much the one-stop solution for your ideas, be them great or small. That's PCBWay.com. Thank you very much to those guys for once again sponsoring this content. Here we are once again at Polymaker with my friend Luke here. Luke, how's it all going? Very good, Sam. Welcome back to the Polymaker booth. A couple more eye catchers to draw people in this year. I've got to say, this is probably one of the best booths. You, you, out, you outdo yourself every year. I mean, last year was amazing with Matt Denton, of course, with all the robots and bits and pieces. We've got ice creams. We've got a giant spool. We've got more colours that you can shake a stick at. I mean... Polymaker are killing it in the market right now, right? Well, this has been the big, um, the big thing from this year. We've just added colors on all different ranges. So poly light range, the poly terror range. We've now got dual color PLA, uh, which is really popular. You get that print where you twist it round, you get that color change. It's yep. beautiful. Coming soon, we're doing the same technology with the co-extrusion with poly terror. So we're gonna have, you know, 36 different combinations of poly terror now. Yep. So we can put these together in all different types and make some really beautiful uh, prints. So you've got some amazing smooth prints here. So obviously this is going to be your, your, your smoothing process, which does look insane. I mean, that looks, like a, that, that looks like a manufactured plastic part, doesn't it? Yeah, like you get that injection molded gloss yeah. that you just don't see in 3D printing unless uh, you do this post-process. And it's really easy to do. Where do you get your ideas from to make stuff like this? I mean, yeah. you know, how, do, how do, does it just come to you? Is it just a... Well, one day, yeah. I mean, last year we had all the, the Polymaker scientists, which yep. is our mascot model. Yep. I printed them in all the different colors. And, uh, and there, there was just one ice cream sitting in the, in the office. And I just thought, oh, that's Probably brilliant. Done. We've got all these new colors. Those uh, scientists, there's a really detailed models, like 24 hours per print. I was like this, faster, it's still impressive. I can do everything. I've even customized the cones, right? So you pick it out, it tells you this one's Polylight PLA, this one. Polyterra PLA. Oh, insane. We've got lightweight, poly smooth, so I thought, oh, I can make these custom cones, I can challenge my design skills a little yeah. bit. And it's funny uh, about the dual, the dual colours, because I've just seen those, um, and it isn't, you know, under the light, it isn't so obvious, but actually, it really is. That, I mean, that's great. That's, that is, uh, we didn't have this last year. Yeah, this is brand new, and it, and it came onto the, the scene. I mean, it's not uh, an original uh, idea, no. I, I think, uh, but we've just taken that technique and we've applied it to our whole color range, and I think what you can do is amazing. Uh, there's talk of adding a third color, a fourth color. You know, it's really, really? Uh, amazing what you can do with this, you know, this color-changing ability. And uh, we find that, um, yeah, there's two ways to go about com combining the colors. So on your color wheel, you can pick two colors that are close together, yep. and then you get like a nice subtle change from sort of like orange to yellow. Sure. Or you can have something that's really drastic, you know, like a, a pink to green, and then you get like, wow, that's really like in so your face. So I've got a couple of questions I'm trying to ask people that um, I know, certainly in the, in the 3D printing kind of manufacturing world. What is the most important part or element to 3D printing? Well, the materials, of course. Of course, of course it is, of course it is. And while we're talking about materials, Luke, let's talk about the big spool. The big spool, So yeah. I, when I came in, so when I arrived yesterday, I was like, how much was that? Because I was like 10, 20 grand, but no, 
you'd made it. You'd made it yourself. I made it myself, uh, yeah. And uh, you know, I used to work as a model maker, and I had this idea that uh, I could do this, right? I could build a, a giant spool. It's been in my mind for a long time now. And we switched to the cardboard spools, and I was like, now is the time I can show off that you know we're fully cardboard, and I can make this giant spool using yeah. some like traditional model making techniques, but also using 3D printing to make some tools to help me do it. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, so have you have you got a, a filmed process of you making this? Yeah. So I've got lots of time lapses. Cool. Uh, uh, just doing everything. I know you like you know right. As soon as you film something, yep. it takes like way longer to do anything. Absolutely. Uh, so I was a bit against the clock, but I managed to get some time lapses in of me, you know, routing the circles, and uh, I actually have uh, the tool. Oh my God. So this is your routing tool. This is a routing tool. Yeah. So. I know back in the day we used to cut circles uh, and to make a perfect circle yeah. you need a router and a jig uh, but with 3D printing right complexity is free exactly. so I was like yeah instead of just having a piece of acrylic with a hole drilled in it I put some bearings in I put a little uh, clip here so I can hold my, my pole that goes through the middle and then it clamps in here so this is just 8 mil aluminium rod yeah. and then uh, just measure the distance that, uh, in the router where the poles go in then you lock it in and then you can just route out huge circle. Uh, the diameter of the spool is uh, 2154 millimeters. So it's like, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty yeah. hench, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's insane, that's insane. So what's the plan for next year? If you're, if you're gonna do another form next, that's if you're gonna do another form next, what's, well, how do you go bigger than this? Well, yeah, <laughs> that's the uh, million dollar question. <laughs> so <laughs> lucky I've got a year to think about it, but um, uh, yeah. Always got to keep pushing yourself, you know, that's uh, the motto at Polymaker, sure. keep improving, keep Same. adding new stuff, uh, you know, listen to the community, yep. uh, see what they want, see, get some feedback, trial and error a few things. I noticed there's a little robot down there as well. Ah, yeah, little robot, should go have a look. Let's go have a look. So I thought this was probably going to be in the recycling bin by now, because, you know, sometimes you make something and go, there you go, and then it's sort of, but here it is, the yeah, Polymaker t do. Brilliant uh, application of 3D printing. Yep, it is back to front though. Oh yeah, well you know, the, it's, uh... it's the way it is. It's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. But um, yeah, amazing. So anything new that's on the horizon that's cutting edge that you can give me an exclusive on? So I mean, we've talked already about the the colours, yep. but then on the engineering side, it's kind of what Polymaker is known for. We've got the new Polymide Nylon 612 CF. So you've got the benefits of the moisture sensitivity yep. of, of Nylon 12 then it's a little bit stronger, like Nylon 6. Yep. And then we've got the long chain poly support, uh, breakaway support to go with that. This is the new PA6. So this is the new uh, PA612. 612, right. And then we have the poly support uh, for long chain polymer. So it works with PA612 and PA12. Sure. So the support is brittle enough that you can break it away by hand. Yep. But you have that adhesion to the long chain polymer, so you get that beautiful wow. interface surface. And this just sort of unlocks geometry for long chain polymers. So, what's I mean, this? What's this printed on? Uh, I think this is printed on uh, on the Omnitech. Wow! Oh, it's it's a beautiful print. Beautiful. I've done a def racer in the PA12. Um, we wanted to try and make an indestructible def racer, but it was uh, it was good. To, it was fine printing it, but it was you know when it went wrong, man, it's a lot of money to spend out yeah, on a on a yeah. piece of piece of plastic. Well, I mean, this is, um, awesome, you know, though. it is the, the pinnacle of uh, extrusion-based materials. It really is. We want to provide that sort of whole uh, holistic approach where we have the support material, because dissolvable, dissolvable support is, you know, not that easy to use. I mean, well, it's easy to use, you throw it in water, but it's a bit messy. Yep. It takes a long time to dissolve. You could remove the support on this model in one minute yeah. by hand. That's we'll make insane. it bright green, yep. like uh, the film industry uses uh, green screen, yep. so you can remove the background easily. So now uh, you know it's the, the CF oh. material is always black, and then yeah, you can yeah. find if there's any little bits of uh, support that haven't been removed, you can just flick them away or identify them That's really insane. easily. That's insane. You guys continue to astound me at every moment, and your knowledge is just impeccable, Luke. It, you, you blow me away. You are the, uh, you are the polymaker scientist in the, my eyes. And the, the hands-on marketing manager, you're, you know. We're you, not all you know your you. stuff, <laughs> you know your stuff. Hey, listen, dude, thank you so much. Um, we'll do a couple of other shots and, uh, and we'll get out of your hair. Nice. Thank you. 
Thanks, Luke. As you guys probably already know, Polymaker have been working with me for quite some time now. So make sure if you do want to support the channel, click the affiliate link below and get yourself some quality filament. Okay, so I'm here with Millian from Trimaker. You've got a really fascinating product. You've got a 3D printer here that also is a kind of Raspberry Pi, but it's unique, isn't it? It's, it's, it's not a Raspberry Pi in the traditional sense. It's not Clipper in the traditional sense. You've come up with something which has been reimagined, I would say. Can you tell me a little about this? You called it SPI specific, is that right? Yes. Thank you, Sam. I am Emiliano from Trainmaker. We are developing uh, technology from Argentina. Uh, we created a device, an IoT device, so you can connect your 3D printer and you have a, an app in the cloud, yeah. so you, you can control it remotely, you can send files to print, you can stop printing, and you can do a lot of things, but it's for entrepreneurs. It's like a kind of octoprint for entrepreneurs. Sure. You don't have to know about coding, so you can put this device in your, comp in your machine, yeah. and you can stop using the, the app, you know? It's a, it, it's a great concept, and I'm assuming here that uh, are you going to be making this as a proprietary part for your printers that you sell, or is this going to be available to anybody that's got any printer? Yes, the first step is selling with our printers, but the next step we are going to do a, an open thing, and we want to to the person in 3D printer use it, and we are looking for a, a brand awareness, you know. Sure. So we are opening the, the system from all the, the companies. It's, it looks incredible. So you've got a user interface that's on your laptop, which you said you can access, access this from anywhere in the world. And you can send, what do you send, G-code? Or how does that work? Yes, I, I can control my, my farm. Now My farm is now in Argentina. So I'm controlling now and, I, and I'm doing my work. So I am here and working with my, my farm. So uh, we can, you can drop your GCO, your STL, you can slice in the cloud, yeah. and you can do a lot of things. Like for, for example, you, if you have a G code of one pieces, you, you can test your, your first uh, 3D print, and then you can expand to more than one. So wow. you can, but without going to the STL. So it's, it's better to, to, to to improve the, the user experience. Sorry. So, the, so the unit here, which I see on the side of the printer, that's a Wi-Fi connect connectivity. Is it SD card driven? How does that work? Uh, now, how that? Sorry. Can so, um, so on the side of this printer, we see the box. Is that where the brains are? So, yes. and is that SD card driven or is that hard? Okay. This we call it Streammaker Box. It's an IoT device. It's an SP32. Yeah. Where we, in the next steps, we are going to develop a clipper there also. So we are developing technology there, and you can uh, connect it and directly with a 3D printer. No, you need an SD. SD. Right. Okay. okay. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Best of luck with okay. your with your development. Really? Thank you. That's amazing. Nice Thank, you. Thanks for meeting me. Thank you. Emiliano was an absolute top guy. In fact, he helped me with printing something for my next interview. But it's one of those things I think with those guys is this. I was walking past it and I saw something that was on a printer that I wasn't kind of, I had a question about it. And that's kind of how that interview happened. So thank you very much to those guys. Make sure you check out that site. Again, the links will be down below. Hey, Slice, what's going on? Welcome to Germany. A um, bit of a faux pas today. Yeah. Um, you mentioned to me this morning that you liked my shirt because it's I a did. Colin Fur shirt. Yeah, it's a great shirt. And in doing so, uh, I've been walking around quite proudly. And it transpires that um, people have been sort of laughing at me because furs translates to fart in German. So I'm wearing the fart t-shirt too. Yeah. It also has a fuse on it. I know, I know. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of crazy. But look, we're here in Germany. You're obviously here to sell, sell, sell. But we've got beef. Not in a traditional term beef, but right. we've got a little bit of beef here. Yeah. So Def Racers were coming to town. Um, there was uh, another organizer, David from 3D Printing Nerd, was supposed to be putting a thing together here. We didn't tell you that it wasn't happening, so I brought my Def Racer and we're going to battle today. Now hey, Slice, ready? Round one, fight! <laughs> woo, woo, okay. So there is, there is one thing. I don't have a 3D printed head, but we're at a 3D printing show Surely it's going to be Somebody super super exactly yeah. exactly. So what I was trying to do is let's try and get someone that's got a mosquito in their machine right. Who's able to print should be easy to do There's four floors here of German 3d printing power. Yeah. We should be good to go Hopefully so. so what we do is we get the head on this thing right. um, And then we're battle 
Is that Let's cool? Have a battle. Give me give me an hour and let's get right. back to it. Okay. Let's do, let's it. do it. One hour later. So, that was awkward. Yeah. All the way to, how many miles was that? I don't know, even know. But I know how many hours it was. It took me like 20 hours to get here. So this is how it went, Time. exactly. So this is how it went down. Your entire team of R&D specialists have been working on this Def Racer, and you turn up in Germany without a charge battery. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Turns out uh, we're good at the mechanical side, but maybe not the electrical. So we didn't charge the battery, ran out of juice. I mean, it's a damn shame, especially as I didn't even come <laughs> with a head. But, you know, um, good effort. And yeah. obviously the next one's probably going to be Mirth. And then we're going to do Earth again. Yeah. Um, so I'm back out to the States for that. How's the show been for you, though? Form Next has been fantastic. I mean, it's a huge show, beautiful venue, lots of great people, good connections. Uh, yeah, really, really great show. Love, love this show. So a sneaky one here. Um, you've got a big sale coming up. So you've, got, you've just had a Veterans Day sale. We did. And I read that as Valentine's Day um, because I was looking for I was like, what, Valentine's Day. Oh, those Americans, they've got a different date. Why isn't it February 14th? Right. No, it was it was definitely Veterans Day. Um, so you've got a sale coming up. Then you've got another sale coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've got our Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales coming up, which Great. is a huge deal. Yeah, uh, it's probably our biggest sale of the year. And then we've got a really exciting 12 days of Christmas thing that we introduced last year. Right. Where we've got kind of I a remember that. Yeah, different yeah. sale every day and typically we'll do a, a pretty big giveaway at the end. Uh, so if you subscribe, um, subscribe to Sam's channel too because it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so if you it's pretty good. It's pretty I'm good. the winner here. I won, I won this race, my friends. I mean, at least, at least mine worked today. I mean, I was at Earth. I was kind of like, I'm just going to present because my stuff is just not working. So, you know, that, that's the technicality. That's unfortunately sometimes what happens. And I bought three Death Racers with me and only one of them worked, which was David from, again, Joel's channel. So, yeah. um, so you're having this big sale. Now, big sales to me kind of put the, the, the shaker out there as you've got something else coming. Something big is coming to Slice Engineering. And I mean super big. Now, the hot ends you supply already are top notch. I can't say anything bad about them because they're phenomenal machines uh, or they're phenomenal hot ends going into my yeah. machines. Um, and anything that I'm using that's not just a can you review kind of style print, anything that I'm actually using for an industrial application, death racers, whatever it might be, printing some gnarly stuff, massive octopus, whatever, whatever I decide to do on that day, it is generally always printed with slice engineering parts. So what's this big thing? Can you tell us anything about it? Can't say anything, but we do have something, multiple cool things coming. Did you say so, smultable? Multiple, yeah, we got multiple cool things coming. Not smultable? Not smultable. Okay, maybe small. Smultable? Yeah. Sure, I said smultable. <laughs> I, I made up a word, you know. Cool. It's been an interesting journey for it you. Has, you forgot has. your passport. You didn't yeah, charge did. your batteries. Dan, yeah. welcome to Germany, my friend. You, yeah. Listen, I hope this I hope this week has been good and financially successful for you guys. Um, I, I really do hope so because I, I noticed when we did TCT together, mm -hmm. um, and then I then came out to Formnex. I was like, dude, you've got to get down to this show, yeah. uh, and show. and it's massive. I mean, there's no way I'm going to be able to cover half the stuff that's even here. Not even that. You know, maybe a couple of uh, vendors here, there, and everywhere. But I wanted to catch up with you. Obviously, I wanted to do the death race. You know, I didn't. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, I've got to be honest. I didn't, didn't see that coming either. I was expecting a little more speed, and as soon as we turned it on, it was uh, very slow. And then within moments, uh, no, no movement at all. So yeah, it's quite unfortunate. But don't forget, guys, to hit my affiliate link below for Slice Engineering, and the big sale is coming up. So um, Dan, as always. You're a gentleman. Thank you, Pleasure. sir. Watch yeah. out for uh, the fart t-shirt. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you.
So it looks like my death racer gets to live for another day. As I said, there's going to be some more events coming up in the near future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep following for more details on that. Thank you very much to all the guys that have been involved with this video. There is a part two coming up, hopefully in the next couple of hours, if I can manage to get the editing power together. Um, there with Snapmaker, E3D. Oh, we interviewed quite a few different people as well. So it's coming up very, very soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much to everybody again that's been involved with this and Formnext for putting this amazing event on. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.